So the product we're going to test here today is a bottle of juice. Um, the application is there's an array of bottles and they are being picked from the surface of the cap on the top here. Um, you picked and moved and transferred. So the setup we're going to use here is a VGS 3010 generator. Um, inside it is an SI08-3 coax cartridge uh, capable of max vacuum about 23 inches of mercury and um, vacuum flow about 3 CFM of vacuum flow at ambient pressure. Um, the suction cup we're using is a B35XP single durometer um, polyurethane cup. Um, it's a 35 millimeter lip, single bellow, um, Duraflex polyurethane material, so high wear resistance um, material. So we're going to come down on the bottle, pick it up, see what kind of vacuum routing we get here on this um, gauge here and see how well this performs. So as you come down on the lid here, we're getting a max vacuum about 23 inches of mercury, about the max this generator can pull. Um, the cup you can see is a little bit larger than the lid, um, but that's okay because the cup itself, um, the lip on it is really wide. So you're still getting an effective area. And we can move the bottle around, um, we're not losing grip even as we swing it around, um, nor are we losing vacuum level on the generator, meaning there's no leaks um, being generated as we're moving things around as well. Um, as you see somewhat of a violent swing like that, we're going to lose it. Um, that's just the inertia of releasing it from the cup. But as you can see here on the cup itself, it is a nice wide lip um, on there versus a 25 millimeter cup, it's a little bit smaller. Um, we would be on the lid, um, but our effective covered area is much less. As you can see, there's a lot of exposed lid area on there. As well as a smaller cup, our um, holding forces are reduced, and you do get a lot more movement um, because it is a smaller pivot point and holding force on the top of the bottle. So overall, this is a great solution, great cup for the application.